International News Now. Welcome to International News Now at UT. The idea for this YouTube channel grew out of a large introductory class on U.S. foreign policy that Rob and I teach every year to thousands of students at UT. The course introduces students to some conceptual tools largely drawn from political science that can be used to evaluate America's larger role in the world. We examine how a series of domestic factors shape important foreign policy decisions of the United States. And we examine how a larger international political order, often through war and globalization, constrains and remakes the interests and collective identity of the United States itself. Because this is a required course, we felt like we needed a device to hold students' attention and illustrate the usefulness of a series of abstract political science concepts. And we solved this challenge by turning much of our analytical attention in class to exploring contemporary foreign policy debates that students were hearing about in the news. We sought to provide more background on these stories and discuss some of the larger theoretical and policy challenges they raised. We quickly learned that our news updates were the favorite portion of the course. The students felt like these debates empowered them outside of the classroom, enhancing their confidence to engage family, friends, peers, and coworkers about the larger set of issues that were driving prominent public policy debates. So then we decided that we might just as well make these videos from our class publicly available. So during the semesters in which we will teach, we will post to YouTube these news segments from our course. Again, we try to stay current with the news cycle, grabbing issues that can simultaneously get students talking about prominent national debates while allowing us to illustrate some f foundational themes from our course on U.S. foreign policy. Finally, we recognize that the challenges of engaging in a productive and civil dialogue in today's hyper-partisan political environment. As university instructors first, we do not and should not have a partisan ax to grind here. For reasons of full disclosure, we are both political centrists who frequently find lots to criticize about the public positions taken by members of both political parties in the United States. Our principal goal in confronting these debates is simply to, pro to provide students with more analytical tools to think critically about what politicians from both parties are saying and to push our students to think broadly about what America's role in the world today should be. Sometimes we will criticize because the facts and implications of actions point to certain potential outcomes that we may deem to be detrimental to U.S. interests or global stability. We will, strive, we will strive to be fair and objective, but most importantly honest about where we think the facts surrounding a particular issue lead.